If you poop in my bus and then leave, your poop stays. We're Sean and Ash, and we live full-time in our self-converted school bus. A very exciting delivery has come in. Our toilet is on the way. Show me the email. Should be here by Wait. 7 p.m. today. Out for delivery. That's exciting. It's a big day. Is it heavy? Not really. You like a snack. And I didn't eat lunch today. You look like a whole lunch. You looking like a whole lunch break. Airhead unveiling. Wow, that's so legit. A bowl. That's a hat. I think it comes with a free hat. That's weird. Oh, you wear it on your head. Boom. This is my first pee bucket, everybody. Um, oh, look, and they give you this. You know what I really want to do? I want to talk about what happens when you get diet. Dude, food. I have actually thought that before. Can you say that again? No. Please say it. No. Coffee filters? That was that was really nice of them. Because coffee makes you poop. And Does poop actually go in there? It's definitely like a weird feeling to sit on the street is right there, you know? It's a little strange. People could walk by and... And I was telling Sean I'm happy because this little knockout is that shelf that we have on the corner of our bedroom. And I was really worried that we were going to hit our head. But you totally avoid it because of the fact that you're sitting on the toilet. My dad might hit his head, but I don't think my dad will be pooping in here. I don't like as least other people like pooping in here as possible you know emergencies only emergencies only just for the fact that like i'm mixing your shit you know like if you poop in my house you flush it and it just all goes away if you poop in my bus and then leave your poop stays and then i have to churn <laughs> it you know so you're like, gonna churn just emergencies only but like if you gotta go you gotta go and we're happy to accommodate I'm happy that you're gonna be a churner. I thought all poop related things. No, I think it's up. like, I think you poop and you like give it a churn. Well, My toilet tour. Okay, special delivery from Airhead Composting Toilet. <laughs> I love how the top of the toilet looks like an actual toilet. It has the seat that you lift up and then it has this gasket around the edge for, you know, stink hmm. prevention. Um, it has like the actual seat that you would sit on. And then if you lift that up, you can see this is the poop chute. Oops. When you're gonna go number two, it <laughs> goes down that hole. These two holes up front are for number one, and they go into this pee bucket here. Which, bucket pee. one of the reasons that I preferred the Airhead over the Nature's Head toilet is because the nature's head toilet has like a clear pee jug. So when you're carrying it around in like a campsite or, you know, to like a, a gas station bathroom to dump the pee in the toilet. Oh yeah. Like you can see like that's, that's pee. Oh, that's she's, their pee. She's got pee. Um, this is not clear. It's opaque or whatever. I don't know. It just has this little window so that you can see when your pee is getting to the top. But that was something I really liked about this one. Very cool. Very cool. So Sean has been trying to convince me out of doing a tiled shower, as are plenty of other people. We have lots of friends that have done tiled showers in their buses and haven't heard of too many complaints so far. Sean is just thinking it would be so much easier to use like an FRP. I will admit, I am dead set on this tile look. <laughs> Definitely on the floor. I don't know. Like if things are getting wet in here because we don't have necessarily have a shower curtain, I'd rather the floor be tiled than like wood or whatever. Okay. That's kind of my feeling on it. Why? Because it's more slippery? Expensive. It's not more slippery. One of the worst sensations is sitting on the toilet and the floor is wet and like your feet are in your toes are like wet while you're going to like that's I don't know, I just, I don't want wet feet while I'm using the bathroom. A very exciting delivery has come in. Oh 
Okay, so going to put this together. Here's, like there's a toolbox filled with little things that you kind of need to use to piece it together. Like I guess the tires aren't even on. So it's quite the assembly process. But my parents each have one of these and they said you can just look up a YouTube video for how to put it together. I'm running with scissors. And we're back. Where are you going? Look who it is. Dude. Nice rod. That thing looks so it cool. Is Got it made. 